as as one of the better players here in, in all of ECL, especially with the ops. So uh, I think they'll be able to put up a fight. I, I think the only weakness here is, like you said, those role changes coming through from nouns. Well, I'm feeling a little bit more of an evenly matched game. I think Iron Blood can give them a run for their money, but I still want to, you know, put my emphasis onto nouns for sure. I'll call it 2-1 at that. We'll see if we need it, though, because we're kicking this one off on Mirage. Welcome to the ESL Challenger League playoffs. We got Munster and Cole, as we do, introduce the map, and we are in the pistol round. Who would have thought? Excited to see it. Already Excited we got to there. see the pistol. <laughs> Finding things out there. He's getting... The P250 has been entrusted with it, and uh, so far, he hasn't really claimed too much space. Immediately retaken by Cynic, so he's going to have a whole lot of information right now. We're going to have a fun little A execute to start this one. Classic stair smoke, jungle smoke, and try to get that CT spawn control. Admittedly, CJ is in position to stop this, but Stamina also on the stairs could utilize a gap in the smoke as well as B-Wills. He'll strike. CT spawn control is not going to be taken. B-Wills is going to come through and shut down three to begin this one. And it's looking in tatters right now for Ironblood with the bomb pushing deeper into spawn, losing all his teammates. This is just a wrap from Nouds. Yeah, right off the bat, you can already see that they're poking and prodding at the at the other team, looking for those gaps with the uh, Cynic pushing top mid right when they're setting up for their A exec. So it was pretty yeah. easy for them to just rotate everybody over to defend that bomb site. Pretty you clean. think that's more of a anti-strat right there because Dare immediately fell off just so is that just like catching your opponents on tendencies because i know uh actually stamina at one point was doing some analyst work for nouns before even hopping into the server and, and i wonder if that's just reads that they have on tendencies could be for sure it is a pretty common piss around strat all things said you see it you see it here and there it's one of my it's one of my classic pug, pug pistol strats all right this is a good one right you oh, just hey. said a p250 Best player in the server there, uh, or rather, best player on your team is just gonna take some fights, try and uh, get some success. But so far, this uh, full save round isn't gonna bear too much fruit. Quick and easy kills there, trying to farm things up with the MP9, but the two kills so far. Bewills is so aggressive right now, hunting those eeks, those sweet eeks right there, and he gives over his M4, but that should be quickly recovered. Carson can grab that, they only lose an MP9. Do you encourage your player to hunt for eeks? Not Monster. with a rifle. If they have an SMG, <laughs> go for it. But if you're leading with the rifle, one, you're not giving yourself the, the money advantage there, and you risk losing the rifle as well. So, a little bit of risky, I mean, you, but... You literally have Pwn alone on your team who just used the Mag 7. So That's it's true. like, you know... I, I'm just wondering, you know? There is there is a philosophy there. Do you have, like, specific strats for Pwn alone as well when, he, when it comes down to that Mag 7? Nah, he just feels it out. Josh is just <laughs> a player where... He can put himself anywhere with the with the mag and he'll have impact. You can do it both with the op and the mag seven. That's yeah. like the the dream right there. He's got a secondary weapon, but nice attempt there with the MP9 trying to close the distance. But Dare shuts it down pretty quickly, and then he forces him off the angle as well. So an attempt there to get tricky on the bonus round nouns, but it doesn't bear too much fruit so far. The fact that you're able to use the most like unskilled weapon with, I don't know, the most expensive weapon in the game just feels, uh, I don't know, the contrast is there. <laughs> Mid push here, I like this retake here from Nouns, and it's completely forced Iron Blood away from this map control. They're gonna have to reconsider unless a kill comes their way. Carson, dueling out, <laughs> is about to be chased down by the remaining players here of Iron Blood, but he will just escape around the corner and turn this one back to the 4v4. That was a lot of damage there, plus a lot of information. This is definitely going to help them finish up the round here. Whoa, whoa, oh my goodness. I don't know how Carson got away with that kill. Stamina also one for one. It's just more and more information here for now and says both players definitely recognize that they have been spotted out. They're going to try and push through Connector and that's the crossfire between Carson and Cynic that will net the results. Three zip, even in that 4v5 to start. Yeah, once again, they're just pushing the extremities and then going back into a mid push right after to just figure out exactly how the other team's playing. I mean, that that sort of proactivity right there is so hard to deal with. Yeah. I see it a lot from Nouns, I see it a lot from, uh, from ATK. I actually saw it a lot from EG White this season. Or is it EG Black that are playing ECL? Yeah. Black. <laughs> they, they were going for a lot of CT side proactivity. Yeah. Do you think that's uh, pretty common in the meta right now, or is that more of an NA thing? What's the uh, what's the deal with all that? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty common trend to... Kind of react based off of what you think the other team is doing if if they're 
defending an upper B push, you can kind of assume that they're going to be weaker somewhere else on the map. So immediately going into like a mid take and trying to pressure them and kind of make them feel trapped up in upper B is actually pretty, pretty good. Pretty good play by them. Yeah, upper B is not really a fun place to exec from when the entire team knows you're there. Exactly. So yeah. And, it's, uh, and it's all this one way street. All this early pressure they're putting on their on their default is really making them struggle with uh with like completing mid rounds. They're feeling trapped, they're not really sure what they can do, what options they have. And now it just has all the information and they can make any rotation they want to defend, so I, I imagine they're gonna keep playing this way for the rest of the half. It's like the, it's, it sort of is the Nouns playstyle to get in your face, get all the information, and just yeah. kind of make these rotations look really easy. Also, it helps that they have great individual firepower to back that up. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, not wow. today, though. That's a good shot there from Shane. Carson had the op there as well, which is a bit interesting. Maybe a spawn-based thing going on there, so. He got the cat jump quickly, but didn't get any success from it there. And the kills continue to start filling the feed now there. Intro. Are... Might as well treat through the smoke, but they trade it back. Nouns have everyone middle right now. They have completely yeah. abandoned both bomb sites just to brawl, but it's not quite working out in their favor. Stamina still goes down, and there's still problems on this. Cynic what? feels the need to make a play. Snap had no oh, idea you would drop down there, but Terra's gonna trade it out. But at the top of oh middle, my God. it's a one v one. How a have we gotten here? Oh my goodness! And B wills, is he gonna turn around? Is no way you're ready for Droid, right? Oh no, oh. not in time. He didn't realize where he was getting shot from, so it's gonna be Iron Blood to pick up the first. That was a brawl of a round. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's now it's Counter Strike in a nutshell, right there. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm impressed that that Iron Blood just made the decision to send everybody mid and just take the duels. They knew that that Nouns is playing really aggressive to start, so. The fact that they were comfortable just deciding to take those duels early on is actually pretty impressive. Yeah, I was about to say, they just constantly fought back and forth there. I guess Joy did a, a good thing in taking the extremity, because once you say, see those resources, like you said, you want to react to them. Mm -hmm. And luckily he was able to slide on by, but yeah, exactly. oh, last A play here. Yikes, CJ caught out of position. Stamina picking up that AWP. No utility on him really fight back on this he has to do it with the shots alone and now smoked out suppressed but swings through it picks another he gets a second cynic helping out and they just shut down the round that was a 3v5 in an instant just burned down the size i mean with the operate there stamina that's pretty clean he's able to really dive around that smoke perfectly look like he nearly spammed a couple at least what we got right there, and uh, nice round just covering out that A bomb site. I feel like Iron Blood had a chance to catch him off guard, but again, very fast reactions coming through from Nouns. I think that's the first time we saw the stamina off this game. You think Iron Blood expecting that, or just not with what, what really went wrong there for Iron Blood? Uh, they just they had uh, Nouns just had people in the right places to defend against mm -hmm. that hit, even though it came in really quick and they got the opening kill. Uh, they just had the players there to deny the, the execute. They had support flashes. They had an opera posted on the cross, and Iron Blood just didn't have an opportunity to to get into the site. Uh, Stamina didn't get flashed off, so he just had some yeah. some easy picks there, and uh, he hit a couple uh -oh. nice shots. Gosh. Yeah, that was clean. That was a clean nade as well, Cynic. A lot of damage here, and look at the just collapse that they have queued up right now. It's uh -oh. every single round, but this time it doesn't go as well. Oh, that's a, a bit, bit of a ugly. There. Yeah. yeah, it should have been at least a one for one. But now it's actually a rifle. Uh, I, sometimes, you know, you're supposed to have the longest arms in Counter Strike, but uh, Derek couldn't get his hands on it just then. They vary in length, I feel like. Yeah. Sometimes they can be T Rex arms <laughs> as well. They don't have a lot of health to work with here, so these rifles are going to have to go pretty big if they want to win this round. Otherwise, I think it's going to go now this way pretty cleanly. I think uh, a couple players in Iron Blood are definitely good for a, a good first bullet headshot. We see Shane yeah. on seven. He's probably going to be sent in as the first first man in, just for the information. Oh but if he's able to get a good pre-aim going, 
It's a possibility. It's, it's Snap has just snuck up Cat. No one, they don't have any, any idea Snap is even here. And he's going to catch Carson out in the open. There are some real problems now for now. But they're jumping out in the open. They're playing their hand a bit. As Snap does eventually go down and is traded out by Cynic. So it's a two versus two. Shane on seven. Remember that. He crosses over to that default pillar, and that's calmed over to Cynic. He's going to start making his move up, but at the same time, Shane gets to play the headshot angle at the bench, and he drops him as well. Stamina up on the up, has to clutch, but no, it's an eco-round victory for Ironblood. There are those kills coming out from the rifles that I was talking about there for them to win the round. That's really impressive right there. I'm actually surprised that Nouns weren't ready for that guy up cat, because somebody had died to him in Khan earlier in the round, so... Bit of an oversight there, and uh, impressive for Ironblood to, to find that gap and make use of it. I think Cynic dropped out mid at the same time that he was moving up Cat. So I, it was insane timing there, but like you said, yeah. it might have been just like one of those communications where you're, you're thinking mid's full clear. You just retook, and. A bit unfortunate there for Nounce. Tough loss as well, because it completely breaks that money. But something I want to talk about here, because Mirage is an interesting map. Uh, Sixty was pretty important on this map for them. He was really good on it as well. So, do you think they're going to be uh, feeling the loss of him? And do you think that's partially why Iron Blood looks forward to this map? Or, I mean, stamina, is he going to be able to fill those shoes? Uh, with this map specifically, I don't think it was CXEI that, that made it a good map for them. I think just everybody on their team is very comfortable here. I think they're very comfortable playing it as a unit. So, even though they are missing CXEI, who was generally a pretty impactful player on this map for them, I don't think it's going to be a hard hit, especially since Stamina is picking up the AWP. It's generally a pretty easy map for, for an offer. Oh. oh, nice shot coming out. Nice <laughs> oh. off, buddy. Here's $700. <laughs> he's got the pocket up. Yeah. I guess he's not missing him too much right there with a shot like that. And they're instantly rotating off B off that. That's a very fast rotation. At least Cynic is. I mean, this empty pillar position is very powerful, but I think they're anticipating it. That nade suggests something, but maybe spotting that market window. They're not quite ready for Cynic. He gets the one, is done. Can Droid follow up? No. It goes back down to a two versus two, and Intra's on the opposite side of the map. He's just lucky. Shane gets a kill through the smoke, and Intra should have this one dead to right. Stamina was ready Oof. for that. Believe it or not, probably heard the drop out of Palace or something of the sort. And, well, it'll still be the third round for Iron Blood, but these rounds are getting quite exciting. Yeah, and the money isn't looking too good for Nouns right now, so they're on another eco. So Iron Blood is going to be able to claw it back to probably an even score line, and that's going to be putting some pressure on Nouns to start getting some rounds, especially on the CT side. This is... Yeah? This turned out to be pretty decent half year for them, uh, but it's still very early on. I'm still impressed with the uh, proactivity coming through from Nouns. Right now, it's it's kind of been costly. The trades back and forth, the close rounds. I'm wondering if they can keep this up. We still see Nouns hit a couple zingers, but I don't think this is the round to do it. Nah. So since the move to EG White, I guess. <laughs> Joe, how is uh how is coaching been at least? I think you guys have had some decent success here in NA. Yeah, uh, we, we managed to win Philadelphia, but in general, coaching has been pretty rewarding and enjoyable. I, I actually feel like a legitimate coach now. It's not not so much a <laughs> hobby as a profession, so I really get to get to lean into it. Make yeah, you it, were like part-time manager, day -day. Yeah. social media manager. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then on top of that, bef like even recently, I was working a, a job part-time as well, so... Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Dude, there's no way. Forget he's alone in ladder. This guy's just running around no scoping everybody. <laughs> he's just alone in ladder farming. That's how you really need to farm ecos right there. Alright, I'm alone in ladder. I'm taking the strat. Phone alone, go. Rush ladder with op and no scope everybody. <laughs> uh oh. I mean, there is. Uh, his head has been a magnet for bullets this game. I think. He's not gonna. They're not gonna get the hands on the, on the AWP, unfortunately. What? Oh, it almost left Shane. God, yeah, it almost left Shane's hands there for a moment. But yeah, okay. Iron Blood will get it back in there. Back in there. Here you go. Here's the highlight reel. <laughs> this is so insane. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually really Why important that they louder? recovered the up there. Because if uh, Nouns had managed to pick that up, that would have been really good for their economy. But now you can see that 
even though they have rifles out, they're pretty low on utility, so it's gonna be a hard fall around for them. Also, Dare can like operate with the fact that there's not gonna be an op around the corner, yeah, exactly. any corner, so he can play very confidently and take real aggressive opening picks. They're keeping them real honest here, and if they can win this round against Nouns, it's gonna be a pretty solid half for Iron Blood. It's a ballsy push towards middle, considering an off is still very much in play. That's why stamina's not turning that corner, because that uh, that position, that interest plane, is so, so common. Mm -hmm. Where offers are just post up on the start of the mid, and especially with all the proactivity coming through. For okay. Nouns, it wouldn't be all that bad of an idea. A minute 20 left on the clock, and they're already down to just two smokes and a flash. So this is... The other... Iron Blood right here has so much room to work with, so much utility left, that they honestly can just take their time and just feel them out. Is this like a... If they... They're gonna contact walk this. Oh, this is risky. And that's where Sanic's gonna capitalize on the first. Spots the next, falls back, but can't deal with Intra. In fact, Intra oh. might get both of them. Oof. The taps are in. Stamina though, running through. Khan is gonna wow. find a double. They weren't expecting the third man there. And this might cost them as now B-Will strikes from spawn. Wall bangs down to the dare. He's in a 1v3, but this is what he's meant to do. Can he do it? It's the question of wall bank shot, but not enough. Some sick shooting there from Dare, but it doesn't materialize into much. It's six for now. Yeah, that contact play was uh, a bit risky and honestly unnecessary, but that just uh, that just goes to show that having all the information is, you know, hindsight. Mm -hmm. That uh, that one flash I feel like could have gone a long, long way right there, especially with Cynic actually being prepared for that contact play. A lot of players, I think. Would get caught off guard by that, so it's impressive yeah. that he was even ready. But I feel like if they just had one flash for jungle, something along those lines, that would have been massive. But a nice start so far for Nouns is going to net them a little bit of success. And all this emphasis continuously put on middle, they have two players in windows just sitting behind a smoke waiting, They're getting ready to fight mid here. Yeah, they, they just battle mid every single round, Step and they can't and win it. Despite Ironblood having every single player in position, there are three players for now just ready to brawl. And all of a sudden, it's just Intra down in the other pass. I think he's made a couple footsteps. I think they know. Taking his time, but the end is inevitable. It's CJ running him down. It's seven for downs. Yeah, it, 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 it is so on brand, this game for now. This is just their play style. Yeah, they didn't even want to give them a chance to try another contact play there, so they're just brawling out mid, getting all the info, figuring out where all the numbers are, and then just playing off of that. It's like a suffocating game style. You're forced to play the extremities here if you're on the T side. Yeah, very much so. Either that, or you have to commit to the fights and hope you can win them. I think it also gives them just incredibly quick rotations as well, because even when they've tried those contact plays, it feels like Nouns have like three or four rotations already ready because... Everyone's just in yeah. middle. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be the old classic jump scare when you see five players on the jump spot. Cars. Oh, this is so bold. Wow. So bold there from Cars. Are those eeks? <laughs> oh my goodness, the van swing when there's no presence Ooh, middle oh, at wow. all. Ouch, that nade Chunker hurts. Right and it, it's uh, it's it's gonna be an eco ace. Yeah. Oh no, nope. Cynic took it from him. God. One it. stolen kill. How dare he? So messed up. Call a timeout. We gotta give him the proper scolding. <laughs> I think it did save his life, to be fair. But good stuff. Good stuff. If you love the eco farms, Carson tried. He tried to farm some eco. Carson Sometimes looked up just... to looked up to his forefathers. <laughs> <laughs> could not he could not match them simply. Good, good grief! Seventeen kills already for B Wills. Sixteen for Cynic. Yeah, they're just been the two mid players. The two, yeah, the, the two Con mid players. players right there. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just... yep. Uh, you Here can we go. Of... Round. I don't know. Whatever. You can tell just from their score line with the teaser. Tending oh to end my up goodness. Going. And everyone is here again for now. They just oh. keep accepting the brawl. This time around, though, IPG come away with three. Yeah, somehow managing to come out on top of that fight. That window smoke came in really clutch there. Otherwise, oh, the opera would have been in play. I love this from Iron Blood, though. They're just tucking away in towards middle. If they clear it, then 
Well, they were never actually spotted. Just stamming a big false sense of security that no one's gonna be here. So I think they can utilize that to maybe walk up catwalk like they did around Spry, but even still you gotta get past Carson, who's just gotten even further information, one in apartments, and that rolls in stamina completely. I might walk into this. It's a oh, huge okay. risk here from Nouns, but it might pan out. Droid's Poor doing a, that is just save. Droid's doing a good job here selling that there's multiple people up her B with the utilities throwing. They're pretty much both convinced that there is more than one person up there. Ooh, Gave them an opportunity the cat to... Players. Yep, exactly. Yep, and there oh. you go. The cat players just snuck up. No chance, and... I mean, Stamina, I think his scope might have been heard. They're just gonna put a molly towards the door, and he's dead. That was a, a really, really impressive mid-round, yep. Selling multiple people up for B and giving the cat players an opportunity to work their way up slowly was really impressive there. Yeah, because when you see that one player and then the smoke comes through, it's just, you're trying to just do some, you know, arithmetic, and that's like, okay, two players up or B, maybe there's a lurk somewhere. Yeah. yeah you could see towards the end of that round there, the stamina was getting worried that somebody might be flanking a market. Hmm. Well, the Still patience. Tactics. Still with the mid fighting. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> they just not doubled up on the up. HEs. <laughs> They're just throwing a molly plus an HE into COD, man. Hey, both, you can have it. Both teams are just like stacking three or four players in middle, and both teams do it every round expecting yeah. what? Like, like it's just gonna be a bloodbath, and either Executing team wants mid. to fold. The mid bomb site. Here okay. it comes. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> hey, here we go. Four players middle Once in the again. mid round, and here we go. <laughs> Quick one for one, there's Cynic bottom middle, and they've been shredded once more. This announce have had the better win right here on the mid bomb site. <laughs> and nice. it's gonna stay that way. Nine for them. They seem to just be trading rounds through their mid fights, honestly. Yeah. <sighs> this time they had stamina there, which maybe helped out a lot. He was smoked off in window rounds prior, so it does I'm, help to have your opera as an extra. I'm wrong. impressed by the resilience that Iron Blood are showing here just Still, round after round, figuring out a way to get back into the mid fight. Still taking those fights. <laughs> Usually by now, somebody would be saying, this isn't really working for us, maybe we should try something else. But nope, these guys are like, maybe not at the start, but let's go mid fight later in the round. And the thing is, nouns aren't folding either, right? <laughs> They're just yeah. still there late into the round. That's the wild thing. There's no amount of pressure that could convince these two teams that they are anywhere else in the map. <laughs> playing oh, that man. that mini mental game of who's better at taking mid and they're just trying to figure it out round after round that is a bomb spotted towards the underpass and considering that mid boost the window which is bold considering there's been a nouns player in window about every single round but you have snap and ladder clearing that out One of the uh, first times we actually see Nouns fall off, and then Cynic, of course, still tries to peek in Connector. He's been super aggressive, just individually speaking. When they actually aren't going for big control, some of these rounds, he's the one. I like how cautious they are of any sort of aggression towards A. They have no one there defaulting, so they're super careful about it. Even mid as well, because that's been a constant pressure point. Sounds kind of split up all across the map, not really committed to one separate site. So you're going to see Carson kind of on his own here, but he passes the first test, oh trying to God. buy some time for that rotation, and B-Wills has just oh. done that. It's now 1v4, made three, made none for Snap. That's 10-5 at the half, and Nouns with a five-round crisp clean lead. Honestly, this is a pretty comfortable scoreline for both teams here. Um, five rounds on the T side against a strong team not not bad and 10 rounds is a good lead where you can afford to make a mistake here or there yeah we're gonna go ahead and take this one to a bit of a break while we wait for the teams to get ready up half number two of ecl season 43 coming your way <laughs> ah, we're back just kidding, folks. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do a break. But uh, yeah, it's good to see your, our faces one more time. All right, we we of are course. good. We are all good looking. All right, but we'll send this one to a break. Once.
You love it, you wear it. What's your style? Get your merch at shop.eslgaming.com. And gamers, we're back when we're gaming. Believe it or not, TCL Season 43, it's the playoffs. It's buying coal with special guest Joe Munster Lima, coach of EG. And uh, we're back in. Now's up 10 5. They're chilling. See if Iron Boy can make some moves here on this one. Are we going to get. We're getting a fake pistol round on this A site. Trying to sell it. Pull a QB. Oh boy, pull oh. a QB sneak, and I'm not sure how well What's this is going working. on. Uh, what is going? What is going on, Joe? Is there any an analysis you can do on this one? Uh, I'm not it's really working. too sure either. But whatever's <laughs> going on, it seems like it, there's about to be a brawl in the CT spawn. The I guess the oh, CT they're... spawn execute. Yeah, I'm sure this one is underpass going B. They just called all <laughs> the back, rotations of the spawn. Yeah. <laughs> And then, real and then they realize the jig is up. I mean, no, it's gonna be oh, too late. Oh goodness! I mean, now CJ hears every single footstep going in towards rotation, back into the B site. Oh. Another headshot lands. That's a nice shot from Shane. But their shots going back the other way. B Wills is gonna send another one flying. It's out to one v two between Dare, CJ, and Cynic. Dare, can you make it happen? Oh no. Cynic's gonna shut it down. It's gonna be eleven to five. What a pistol! Oh, yeah, that was something. <laughs> I, there I was don't a know. lot going on there. I think they were attempting to commit to an A hit, but with CJ in the window room calling all the rotations, there was no reason for them not to audible to B. And then, like, we were, everyone went jumping into jungle. <laughs> no one was there, threatening to go through the murder hole while four people were watching the murder. I don't know what was going on. I don't know. That's NACS right there. They we were just getting very close to uh, to an NA round there. Yeah. <laughs> It was so good because no one was biting on the fake from Iron Blood, and then they finally bought it the f fake from uh, Nouns, and all of a sudden, Nouns were rotating back into the stack that they faked into initially. It was <laughs> wild. All right, five USPs versus five, or actually, really like four Ts going into this one. It still could get messy for Nouns. No soccer player. Oh. 
Ugh. Messy on the spray, but there we go. Uh, surely, it will be cleaned up. Yeah, five USPs, they are strong. There is strength in numbers there, <laughs> Munster, but uh, not enough. Yeah, unfortunately, you couldn't follow up on that headshot. Maybe pick up that gun, get another one, but... Yeah, it was, it was bound to be a nounce round, start to finish. All right, I got a question for you here. I know it's super uh, situational, but are you a second round CT force buyer, or are you, you a save for rifles, typically? Uh, the thing about the way the meta is right now is economy is so important that force buying on the second round can actually be a risk that a lot of teams are willing to take. Our team generally takes that risk, actually, now that I think mm -hmm. about it. Because if you can build up that economy early and if you can really put the T's on the edge of their economy, then it just makes it really easy to build momentum and run away with, with games. That's a nasty angle from Droid that he somehow didn't get spotted in. Mollies are going to go across the site, forcing him out of position, but Snav can still cover from stairs, preserving Droid for just a moment, but there's a smoke spam that actually gets to him. So Droid falls on the site. It's only these rotation players who could put a stop to this execute. With this second cycle of utility from Nouns, that could just force them back. Taking their sweet time with this, all things said. Keeping us guessing until Dare hits a nice swing out, dropping stamina. And Ironblood all in position. It's going to come down to duels here, and Intra's going to hand one over, and another Ooh. one goes the way of Nouns. They've just cleared out CT spawn single-handedly. The spam, though, will deny the plant, giving Ironblood a chance. Just a chance, though, with 40 seconds. Very slight HP advantage here on Iron Blood. Positional advantage on Nouns, though. Getting the bomb down with a player in Palace. Ooh, but they're not going to recognize Snav. He's pushing through that smoke. Oh, just... just barely missed each other. And he's Ooh. stuck behind Ticket, though. No Snav, is he clearing it? He will. Carson had no idea. And now B Wills. Does he hear that flank? I think he does. He definitely did. He's He was looking backwards. <laughs> he is looking backwards, wow. but not in time enough. The timing just can't be worse. It's Counter-Strike in a nutshell. <laughs> a really, really sneaky play there, walking through the triple smoke. Ugh. Completely unexpected by the, the T in the spawn. Carson was watching it for a split second, though, yeah. which is just what made me, which just made me, like, uh Clenching all over the place there, but nice, uh, nice recovery, and, and this is where I think that third round buy can help out big time. It's a little bit risky because yep. sometimes you can have less utility. It can actually really hurt in those mid round, late round situations where you're trying to retake because you just have no utility left standing. But now that they've been able to win that, they still have a little bit of a rocky road ahead because there's such good money on nouns. But if they can win it two in a row, they can start to build a foundation, and maybe we can start to talk about. Now I'm just pulling this deficit back. Still keeping the economy very low for Iron Blood. Oh, gosh. Ouch. Are we gonna just get more mid brawls? I, I, I sense it. I certainly sense it right now. I think Noun's approach to the mid fighting is a bit more methodical though. A, lot, a, little, a little bit less brawly. More, more emphasis on the utility there. Air inside a ladder. Oh, Carson decided to pull wow. out nades just at that very moment. And now Stamina getting hunted down. What a shot, though. From an IGL turned rifler, turned offer, turned everything. Now trying to make it work here on the site to stop that all is droid from the default boxes. In the meantime, Dare swings out. It's great trading here Ooh. from the Iron Blood guys. At least B Wills in a 1v2. Tagged up uh, just a tad by that scout. The shot doesn't connect, so I mean, B Wills gets an opportunity here. They're continuously trying to sneak out A, but Droid's a hard player to catch off guard, I think, and they've done that a couple of times. It just seems like Droid is right place, right time, holding the right angles in a lot of these A executes and giving his team a big advantage. 20 seconds. The only way he has to go is forward, pick up that bomb, get it planted. The ability to make a silent jump? Not quite though, not silent enough. Shane's gonna hear it, he's gonna swing it, and that's gonna be seven here for Iron Blood. They are creeping back into this game. You did say, Munster, that it wasn't out of reach here for this Iron Blood squad. Yeah, having those five rounds is <clears throat> pretty big for them. I think if they had any fewer rounds, it's not enough room to work with. Especially against a team like Nouns, who 
will recover from their mistakes relatively quickly. This is uh, going to allow them to really string things together now that they've broken the economy. Yeah. I want to see Dare get a little bit more confident, get himself an op in hand as well, and start to get the CT side op roll. We saw some of the no scopes. <laughs> but uh, definitely want him playing at peak in playoffs if you are Iron Blood. You need uh, the impact that he has delivered. I think at one point in this season, he had like a 1.4 impact rating just doing everything in some of these games. So, yeah. Without he's a, a stand out. He's definitely their star player right now. They need him to be having impact if they want a chance at this at this game. When he brings out that op, that's when we're really going to get a feel for how the rest of this game is going to go. I mean, he's kind of like the Swiss Army knife for this Iron Blood squad. He goes for the openers. He takes the clutches as well. It's a big, big on the 1v1s. He's like a, he's a Shiro style op for, for NAECL. We'll swing in. We have Ooh. ourselves a little bit of eco. We got the opener, but that's about it here. As Shane is doing cleanup. Three for him on the round. The spray is going to connect for the fourth, and someone's ought to steal the ace, and there it is. Of course. <laughs> Always. You will never get an ace. That's just not how it works here. Stolen aces on the B bomb side seems to be a trend this game. Can we get some analysis backing it up? Uh, um, it happened. A few rounds Twice. ago. <laughs> oh, ah. <laughs> I believe it was Buells that had his A stolen on the B defense against or by uh, by Cynic. Just rotten, just rotten head. Cynic. Those two can't seem to share the kills with the rest of the team <laughs> enough, though. One more stolen ace, and there's gonna be team killing. We're gonna see blue on blue. Either way, we have another buy-in for now. It's no AWP for stamina, so you can't really contest Dare. Towards middle. Very slow on the approach, trying to really feel out what Ironblood are up to towards middle. Using these HEs wisely. Ironblood know what's up. I think so to announce. I think they uh, are not too lackadaisical in their approach. Right now, the middle, like you said, monster. They're taking a lot of uh, precautions at the moment, just trying to avoid monster. dares off because monster. monster. You have your own. You have your own position on overpass named after you. How did that happen? <laughs> I'm just that good as a coach that, you know. <laughs> Where did you even get that name? I actually should once. It, that is by far and away one of the most unique ones we have here. Uh, I don't. It's not that long of a story, actually. I I used to have a name that I would use every once in a while in matchmaking, and it was the monster under your bed. And that was too <laughs> long. It was too long of a name, and at the time I was working as a as a cook in a deli, so I was around a lot of cheeses, and monster was a cheese oh, that was it's very like a... close to monster. So, one thing led to another. These, uh, oh, at the same time, hold on. Uh, now it's just ran through an entire bomb site we while we were going over that. Um, Shane is all of a sudden in a 1v5, and he's uh, he's also just been given a chance. He has a kit, he has a smoke molly, but he's about to swing into two players. That's not going to help his chances. Out, it's going to be 13 for now. Very clean run. Just ran through the whole site while we were having a great conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of kind of lost track of stuff there. <laughs> Did a good job again. They uh, they took their time with that mid control, and the one thing that Nouns didn't do was rotate off of mid in the mid round. They they held their ground for such a long period of time, putting a lot of trust in those anchors. I think Iron Blood evacuated as soon as Nouns started pushing forward there. That's yeah, brutal. This round right here is going to be the game winning round for Nouns if they can pick it up. Yeah, the economy is economy. Not, yeah, the economy is just not Oof. looking good for for Iron Blood here. And that opener from Stamina compounds the issue. I think Dare showed up with the op, didn't he pop a shot? I couldn't quite hear it. Mm, still has all the bullets in the mag, or maybe that's... Maybe I'm tripping. Either way, he's repositioned, so even if he was spotted, pretty fast from him. But again, he needs to he needs to show up big time. And, oh my oh, god, Cynic! Nice reaction. 26 and 9, keeping that consistency rolling. And everyone in Iron Blood it basically has to gamble towards this site. They have to do everything they can to win this round, take the risks, and Dare will start off firing off from the default boxes. Snipes down two, with the bomb still in spawn. Nouns 
do need to pick that up, but they have that open Ooh. B side. We do see CJ is clearing all of that out, and he's even smoked deep into market. That's a free Walking B bomb site right there. <laughs> this is gonna be a hard run to to win back for Ironblood. Ooh, but Intra has an interesting position. Just has to be ready for B wills. That's the big problem uh, here, but I don't know if Beowulf's bomb, even head that way, yeah. Eventually they're able to claim it, and oh, Sam and able to take one down before they can even activate on this retake. Again, it all comes down to this flank. Yeah, if they jump spot for him, then... I don't think they're going to expect him here. No, but they... Oh, but the other kill comes through, so it might not even matter. Or maybe if he gets both. There's a huge opportunity. Intro with the first Ooh. one, not the second. Huge opportunity, but also B-Wills was there for the trade either yep. way. It did bring in that assistance from Catwalk, so it is 14 to 8, and... Well, it might be the end of the road here for Ironblood. Yeah, they started the retake there a little premature. I think they should have waited for... Uh, who was it in upper B? Intra. 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 Yeah, I think they should have waited a little bit longer for, for Intra to get some, some kind of information on where they're playing from before they, they tried to start that. So, yeah, I think that is kind of a game winner right there, isn't it? Sam showing up big time with the op, able to nullify some of that impact that Dare was starting to show. He finally was able to activate, but a big mid window smoke. Ooh, Ooh and it's nice costly. Shot. Intra. Beautiful shot. I mean, if they win this round, they could just get themselves a lifeline. Not like anything, you know, a comeback starter, but something. For Keeping sure. them alive for sure. Yeah. yeah. Give them a fighting chance. Also, I mean, it allowed Dare to pick up an op for the next round as well. So, you will need to steal some guns, get some kills. But Nouns putting in a full B-side execute is going to make it tough for these pistols and the first not going Shane's way. Diving into the site, it's just Dare. He only has a USB to his name and he's done. So outside of the cool Eagle headshot out of Intra, that's that. It is 15 to 8. Tough around. Nothing you can really say about that one. It starts off so well. But, uh... All things said, now it's getting really close to closing this one out. They gotta be feeling so confident at this point in time. Iron Blood, they might be able to stick around, but again, I don't think they'll be able to build too much confidence in this game. Hmm. What do you th what do you think have made Iron Blood like a strong team? They've gotten here for good reason. They they got here solely because they took down MIBR in a series. Mm -hmm. um, like, what what makes them a, a good unit? Uh, I think they have some some pretty good individuals. Uh, I think it's just comes down to the experience, yeah. Yeah, well, you have some good individuals, and then you have Cynic this game, who's about to break 30 in 24 yeah. rounds. That's a thing. That's a yikes it's, for me. Iron Blood may have good individuals, but now it just has better individuals, and mm -hmm. it's really just hard to compete when when you have a team like Nouns who's so comfortable playing that brawly style on both sides of the game. It's just Regardless of the individual skill, if you're going up against a team that's experienced, that has the individual firepower, and is comfortable just playing aggressive and brawly Counter-Strike, it's, it's just going to be a hard game, no matter who Yikes. you're playing. Yep, Dare needed to convert that kill on towards that bench player, and now at least Droid in the 1v2 without a kick, keep in mind. So, well, even if he got the first kill, I think the time would just elude him. And that's going to be the map. It's 16 to 8. I had a bit more expectation out of Iron Blood here, but uh, Nouns are playing Nouns Counter Strike right at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I mean we saw the head to head there, like I mean constantly towards the middle, they were always battling it out. So, uh, I, like you said, just better individuals showed up for Nouns again in the server, and and I don't know if they have much say about that Iron Blood. Yeah, really impressive performance from Cynic there. Uh, went about as I expected, and I just.